So Castle United have scored early. They lead 4-0. And we're on, folks. Only after three and a half minutes of play, and he's not much pleased to report at the moment, but the doctor will come in around one-ish. Could be, yeah. The breeze is up uh, probably a shade more than it was at this time yesterday, so we could be in for an early one, but it'll definitely play a part in the later game. But the doctor will arrive, Rob. Certainly will, and uh, Raiden Bindoro here. Straight over the black dot. So Castle United go out to a little handy leader, 6-0 after only four minutes of play. And come on, Barracuda's goal. We saw them yesterday, actually, in action against uh, Kogabera. And what a matchup that was. Yeah, that was a... For about 25 minutes of the half. So yeah, that was a big game. Probably uh, feel a touch unlucky. And Rob, being quarterfinals now, the winner advances. The loser, unfortunately comes up in the grandstand and watches the remaining games of us here at Blue Collar Sports. Yeah, they might sit back to uh, wherever they're staying and jump onto Blue Collar Sports. Oh, for sure, yeah. Get back in the air condition. But, uh, to all the families at home on Palm Island that will be following along, a big shout-out to all of them. Just, uh, we get a little uh, break in the action here. You know, we're all set up and ready to go. We'll bring you our team list for today's matchup. But uh, as we sort of spoke about, Custom United would have come in here as uh, considering themselves a real, one of the uh, heavyweights. They might be a little bit uh, put off finding themselves here in the, the lower tier. And Palm Island United, well, they were just uh, Palm Island uh, gold, sorry. They just couldn't find points yesterday. They just couldn't control the ball against a, a strong Taker Barisite. I know it's only early, but I'm really impressed with um, Castle United's defence line. They're all moving up as one, Rob. And and, and they're just, um, they're in their face. They're, they're only making a couple of metres and they're already in their grill. So, so far, I'd be saying United definitely looking the better side, but it's only early. We're only, what, five minutes into with the first half, so... Wary legs I ran into as a uh, scroll across the field there in the void. Long carnival, three big days of footy action. Yes, it def definitely uh, would test your fitness levels. I was struggling to uh, play a, a full 10 minutes. I was struggling to stay. Poor boy. Shout out to the doctor if you're listening into that. I'm sure he'll have a chat to me about my cholesterol at a later date. But inside the 40 here, come on, Barracuda's down here, Jack Pryor is out the back. Or Castle United. Young man Jack Pryor plays his footy at Ignatius Park, one of the uh, big schools here in Townsville, rugby league programs. Once again, good defence by United, three in the tackle. So we're on the last now. They're only about 12 metres out from the line. Jump short side. It's a lot of opportunity. But once again, good defence by United. Good scrambling defence and they'll get the ball about two metres out from their own line. Yeah, if the um, Palm Island can muscle up here and force a mistake. Down this end a lot yesterday, having to work off their own half. And it was one of the late games as well, so not too much recovery time for the boys. But here we go as we speak. A line break there to the number four. Crystal Byer, Christo Byer. They go to swing it wide here. There's plenty of air, but it was a shock and pass. And also forward. So unfortunately for United. Good opportunity here for Palm Island. They're only Castle uh, United. Yes. That was young uh, Waverly Brown. Yeah, it was nearly away. That looked like we would have been a uh, bit of a foot race. That would have woken everybody up here earlier this morning. Yes. Hamstrings would have felt it. <laughs> yeah, you can 
to in order to hold on the attack again. Oh, what a run. Straight through the middle. Thank you. Straight under the black dot. Game on. 6-4. Kick to come. Yeah, it looks soft, didn't it, through the centre there? Yeah, just shaking off some early morning cobwebs, the boys. But it did. It looked like it was shut down. It didn't look like there was much doing. He seen half a gap and he just uh, put the pedal to the metal and uh, straight through he went. And Matthew Wright just making his way to the sideline here and we'll see uh, Ant Mitchell make his way back on the field. So handy lead, 10-0. Handy lead in uh, Carnival Foot is a good one, but certainly uh, after 10 minutes they'll take that Castle United. Castle United, yeah, that's a good lead. Coming on the side with uh, Kellis Motto there for uh, United. Jeez, Ant Mitchell does not look a, a day over 25. Still be going around. And, and what's he in his 30s? Four. And a bit of GST on that. Off Edigan. He'll take that. Ant, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. So kick, Rob, the kick was successful, and it's now handy lead of 12 points to nil. Now they're just going to get some ball in some good areas here. That was a good kick. Yeah, I will. Coach is barking plenty of um, orders out to his team. Basically saying, let's score next. And put a bit of pressure back onto them. That's it. Just score. Pretty simple game, rugby league. Centre field, 30 metres out. Blazing side there. Oh, good ball. Oh, what a try. Oh, that path pass was an absolute peach. Found half a gap. Yeah, that was a good try. And Rob now twelve four kick to come. It's, it's a he should be able to kick it, it and that'll make it uh, twelve six. So. Uh, now that we're into the knockout stage, it sort of takes out the equation having to win hard or points or uh, for and against. It really is just uh, about winning. Just got to win. That's it. There's no second prize today. It's winner goes, advances on. There's a, yeah, that's it. There's a lot of talk now out there with the Barracudas. Put a spring in there. Oh yeah, you can you can just you can just notice now the way they've come back. They're in a little huddle now, and they're saying, "Hey, let's do the same thing again. Good set of six, kick deep, put pressure on them." John Smith coming on here for uh, fresh legs to come on. I feel like uh, with that late game, I suppose it's probably the heavy legs for the boys early first half in the morning, just coming in and blowing the cobwebs off. Yeah, and yesterday with the uh, official opening. We got behind the eight ball. I think you, the last game you called, Rob, was around half, finished around half six. Was it correct? Yeah, it would have been, yeah. It was a late game. Yeah. 
Yeah, when I went to the footy last night, and a big, big shout out, thank you to Blue Collar Sports for putting me up in the um, corporate box there. And um, I had a great night in the Blue Collar uh, box there, and a big thank you to Rob and Blue Collar Sports for the night. It was. What a fantastic evening. Great culture, the Samoan side, uh, even though they went down. Yeah, it was it was a great night. I know Australia won fairly convincingly at the end, but um, no, I enjoyed it. It was a really good night. Oh, thank you for coming. He's absolutely bone jarra. I'll tell you what, number twenty five. He, he's he's. Um, Taking his time to get back into line there. He's. He's still sucking in number 25 after that massive hit. Oh, he's lucky to get away with that. But he's lost the ball, and now United go on the attack, and they're only 30 out, Rob. They're a big show here. Got him for Shepard. Will here? Yeah, that was, um, there were only 20 out, still had four plays up their sleeve and so the Barracudas now go on attack. Oh, nice run. Oh, he's home. Shut the gate. Too much speed. And straight under the black dot. Game on. Barracudas. Avery Green, we saw him involved in a couple of tackles there early on, fighting to get his side back into it. And uh, then just scooped on that one. He had speed to burn. You know, it's like last night, Rob. I actually haven't seen that hammer live. And last night when we seen him live and the speed he's got. Like in a stride, he just put five meters on him. He is, and this bloke here is similar, not as fast, but he just took off, and they weren't going to get him. Yeah, and I could do the race call them. We should get the five fastest rugby league players here at the carnival, and we'll. Um, Put a little purse up and we'll go. No one under the under the weight category, like it's a heavyweight category, yeah. not under 115 kilos. Right, eh? Because I want proper front row, not modern day front row. We want your blue collar battles. Yeah. Yeah, that's the race that'll stop the nation. Yeah, we might have to look at that next year, getting some. Um... To get through that call, we're probably timing that in Sunday, I reckon. Yeah. Kick from in front here. Yeah, he should kick it and that'll uh, lock it all up at 12 apiece. So it's definitely game on. Just shy of eight minutes to go into the first half of our first quarter final here at Sports Reserve. Uh, yesterday for uh, the Barracudas, they sort of a little bit slow in the blocks against Kakabera. They must they get their fair share of footy. They're as good as anyone here. They're definitely uh, going up a gear now. Hey, the boys are talking barracudas. They, the yeah, no, they they they're fairly pumped up at the moment. I can see another try coming up here. The way these boys are, and he kick is successful. So we are locked up, twelve a piece. Give him a run for his money. The young touchy over the far side, he's got a set of wheels on him, too. Yeah, he's got a bit of speed. Great to see you, Tim. 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 Great to
still running their end. Coming back into the community rugby league, getting in here with a few of his mates. He only knows one way, the big fella. So he's been penalised for, there was two in the tackle and he went for the strip, so Barracudas. You earn penalties like that from your commitment and the way you carry. And he, and he earned that Henry Ball. Well, well, and Barracudas are on a roll here. They've scored the last two tries within the last five minutes. Oh, there we go. that was a bone jarrer. Uh, He's knocked this on, so they'll get the ball back here. And they're in a good position. That scrum will be packed right in the centre and about 30 out. Well, I can see, I can see Barra. Barracuda goal here scoring again because the boys are pretty pumped up and here they go they're only 25 metres out the big fella just goes for a little settler makes a good 4-5 or five metres tries to find a gap but shut there now they're only 3.5 metres out Defence has been good, but by United. He tries to go himself. He's short on the last. He's... Oh, now that... It looked like it's gone up the side of his boot, straight to his winger, and the winger has crashed over in the corner. And Barracuda have now scored three tries within about six to seven minutes and now take the lead, leading 16 points to 12, kick to come. And they are on a roll. So now they've got their tails up and they are absolutely on a roll, scoring three tries within the 70 minutes. It won't be an easy kick. He's only a couple of metres, not even that in from the sideline.
Castle United will probably go the long kickoff, which they do. Oh, he's just lucky to keep that. I thought he was going to pop that out there, Rob. And... So Castle United roll the sleeves up now in defence and try and force that error. With only one minute to go on the clock in the first half of the quarter final. Pack the scrum, they've still got they've 30 seconds on the clock. Quick play the ball, they've still got plenty of time to score here. Oh, what a try! No, hang on, he's pulled it up. In that last 15 minutes, Rob, of the game, it was all barracudas.
Palm Island got 10 minutes, scored three tries, and now they find themselves in front, leading 12 points. Correction, leading by 16 to 12 over Castle United. The winner will advance. But it's still anyone's game. But that last 10 minutes, that last back 10 minutes of that first half was all Palm Island. So Palm Island will kick off to the Castle Hill end. And he's dropped it. So this is a good opportunity now for Palm Island. They're only about 20 metres out and they go on to the attack. They go to swing it to the left. Well, there was a half a chance there for an intercept, but unfortunately, it just couldn't get hold of it. It got him on the fingertips, so they'll get a, now a full set of six. I'll pack the scrum. And once again, Palm Island will go on to the attack. And they're only around 14 metres out from the line there. So they've got a prime opportunity to strike early into the first, second half. So Walsh from dummy half. A good run there by the four, Vera. He made a good three or four metres. He's only two metres out from the line. They'll go to the left. But good defence there by United. Two metres out with two plays up their sleeve. Palm Island trying to break this United defence. They go wide. They've lost a couple of metres in play there as Walsh on the last. He gets up and plays it. But that was a... Good kick there, and he has been caught in goal, so this will be a dropout. And once again, Palm Island will go on the attack. Good kick there, goes just shy of the halfway. And he's dropped it cold. What a coach killer that is. Only a second play. They're under the pump there, Castle United. But with that mistake by Palm Island, now they'll pack the scrum and Castle United's turn to go on the attack. Yeah, well, I didn't know. 
David Narara making a good five or six metres. Gives it to Kafusi. Kafusi unload, offload there, a good pass. Make an extra two to three metres. He'll get up and play it. Good run by Timmy Hill, the 5'8", made a good five or six metres. He's taken only 10 metres out. And a penalty goes to United, so they'll once again go on the attack. Big run there by the 12, just shy of the try line. He gets up and plays it. The hooker had a go, but it looks like he's crossed. He has, he's scored. So Castle United have scored and it's game on. After back-to-back -back sets, Fullcastle United, they have crossed over and now it's locked up at 16 apiece with kick to come. <laughs> and you think he should just about kick this so if successful they will go to a two-point lead. So we are watching the first quarter final Castle United and Palm Island Gold. The kick is successful. Castle United 18 lead Palm Island goal 16. Still 18 minutes to go in the second half. So plenty of time left on the clock. Palm Island. Good long kick there. Big run off the back fence. Got his team well over the 25 line. Oh, there's a penalty. He's all over in there. He wouldn't get up, let him play the ball, and the referee has penalised him. So there's another penalty going to Castlewood United. So they go on the attack, United. Big run there by the forward, makes a good six to seven metres till he's taken right in front of the post. He's about 12 metres out. Goes to Mitchell, has a run and he scores. So that's two tries within three to four minutes to United. So they crash over and now they go out to a handy lead, 22 to 16.
I don't know what the ref said to the Castle United, uh, the coach said to them at half time, but it's definitely worked. They've come out guns are blazing and they've scored two tries within four minutes. And Braden Binderossi kick is successful. And our first quarter final, Castle United go out to a handy lead now, 24 points to 16 over Palm Island Gold. Still plenty of time, 15 minutes to go in the second half. But it'd be fair to say you think Palm Island will have to score next. So they make good yardage there, United. Kafusi, who's played a solid game today, Patrick Kafusi, is taken just shy of the halfway. He'll get up and play it. There's a good run from Dummy Half. He found the gap. He showed him some candy, and it's all over. He's going to crash over the line, and that is three tries within six minutes. And Castle United are on a roll. All on the back of Kafusi's hard running. The little hooker found the gap. And United are in. Kennedy, the hooker for Castle United. Seen a little gap in the centre there. Poked his nose through and then he was away. But it was all on the back of that run of Kafusi. He's really lifted in the last five minutes to Kafusi. I think he's so far been the best forward for United. And this will be a handy lead, 28 to 16, kick to come. Kick is successful. Castle United 30 lead. Palm Island goal 16. We are watching the first quarter final. Thirteen minutes left on the clock. So still plenty of time there for Palm Island. And he has kicked it out on the full, so that'll be a penalty to United right on the halfway. So it's scoreboard pressure now starting to build on the players, and he's made that mistake. And they might pay because Castle United go on a roll here. Good run by the 17, Nasser Kafusi. In a step, he gets it. It's a foot race. He's off and gone. They're trying to catch him. Shut the gate. It is all over, Red Rover. And he'll go over and score. And it gives a little bit of life to the Palm Island players as they cross over. And now the score is 30 to 16. Kick to come. Thirty twenty now, so with the kick to come, they are in it now. Uh, but they had the score next, and they have. So now, kick right in front, basically. So you think he'd kick this, 
and that'll bring it to a point difference. Plenty of time on the clock, 11 minutes. And kick is successful. So we are now Palm Island 22, Castle United 30. We are watching the sec first of our quarterfinals. 22 to 30. And they needed that Palm Island because Castle United was on a roll. They scored three quick tries in this, this second half. And Palm Island need a counter punch here. Come back out, score again. Castle United kick off. Big defence there by the eight for Castle United. David Nara. So Palm Island go to swing it wide here. But unfortunately, I think he's knocked this on. So he has. So it's a knock on. And Castle United now will go on the attack. Only 22 metres out. Nine minutes left on the clock in the first of our quarterfinals. And Castle United. It looks like there was a, a knock on by Castle United, their halfback at the scrum. And now Palm Island will get the ball after that error by the halfback for Castle United. So now Palm will pack the scrum and have the feed. And a penalty for a high shot there. Kafusi is hitting high, and the referee has given the penalty. There's a bit of feeling here. Lies for that high shot. Now Palm Island gold. He's actually lost about a metre of that kick. So Palm Island now with the ball. They still trail by eight points, Palm Island, but still plenty on the clock in the third finals. They go to swing it wide here. They look for a gap. They still go and he's half through the gap. It was taken just shy of the 30 metres out. They swing it. There's a bit of an overlap out here. But United is up to it in defence. Tries to offload. It's still alive. On the last, 14 metres out from the line, on the last tackle, they go to the right. 
but he just put too much on the kick and unfortunately it goes and it will be a full seven to Castle United. So Palm Island Gold are still in this game. Only trail by eight points. As United now go on the attack, just shy of the halfway. They lead by eight points, still plenty of time. Five minutes, 43 on the clock. A Fusi from half, dummy half. Gets, plays the ball. Little chip at the back there, but it looks like they're gonna. Palm Island's got it covered. And a penalty goes to United here for a Shepherd. So Castle United only four metres out. This is a good opportunity for them to basically put this game to bed if they can score here. And he's elected. Four minutes, 21 seconds left on the clock. And he'll take his time with this kick and shave another 30 to 40 seconds off the clock. So Braden Benderossi, the four, comes in. Strikes it well, straight over the black dot. To go out to a handy 10 lead, 32 to Palm Island goal, 22. Three minutes, 20 seconds left on the clock in the first of our quarterfinals here at Sports Reserve in Townsville. He'll have to go a short kick off here, try and get the ball back. And he goes long, which is probably not the, the ideal option, but that's where he's gone. And now Castle United go on the attack and they're... Still in the danger zone, Kafusi once again, he's been very solid. He's away here, over the halfway, still going, puts it on the boot. But Palm Island will clean it up, but taken only three metres out from their line. So, good play. And now they'll muscle up into defence and try and force that error as Palm Island try to run it out of their danger zone. They go to swing it, but Castle United defence is up to it. Just shy of two minutes. He tries to put a tip over the top. It's successful. He gets the ball. He swings it out. But he unfortunately didn't get the bounce, but he's still alive. And that was the last. So, 
have weathered the storm there, go back on the attack. David Nawua gets up and plays it. Kafusi has played a fair and blinder in the second half. Another big run by Patrick Kafusi. He's been solid in the second half. He's been one of their best. And with only 47 seconds on the clock. They still want to score some points here at United. And then they've got him for a high shot. So he'll probably try and maybe go for the two. Just shy of the halfway. Only two seconds. The Hooters, Sounds and Castle United have won the first of our quarterfinals here at Sports Reserve. 32 to Palm Island goal, 22. So a great effort there by Castle United. They come out early in that second half. They scored three tries within the first five minutes and they were just too good at the end and they advanced towards the finals after winning the first of our quarter final they defeated palm island goal 32 castle united palm island goal 22. so we'll have a short break break and we'll be back to call more of the action here at the sports reserve in townsville is that off time